Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys all of my makeup that I have recently gotten. Um, recently as in maybe like four months ago. Um, ever since I left YouTube, this is the makeup that I've gotten ever since then. Um, so, um, going down from primers to um, setting sprays. And I may cut this video in half. Um, or like in parts just because I have so much and I don't want to overflow y'all with with products um but we may just go through it I don't know we're just, we're just, know. We're just gonna go with the flow um, but I have a lot more I have a lot of new primers a lot of new um, foundations and concealers and eyeshadow palettes oh my god there's so many um, but let's go ahead and get on with it. Grab you guys a snack and uh, grab you a little coffee because I don't want to put y'all to sleep. Okay, so first we're going to start out with primers and I'm going to show y'all a quick little glimpse of everything before we get started. Okay, so one of the products that was in the picture is actually not a primer. I don't know why I put it up there, but um, I use it before every single makeup application. Not today, but you know, whatever. Um, so this is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid um, um, Serum. Um, this guy is like $6.80 at Ulta. This guy is so good for dry skin. Um, the formula is really thick. Um, it's clear. It's beautiful. Um, it sinks into the skin as soon as you put it on, and that's what I love mostly about it. Okay, and then every single one after this is a primer. Um, this next one is from Wet n Wild, and this is the Primer Serum from the Dewy Collection. Um, this is the hydrating one, and I absolutely love it. It has, like, little specks of glitter in it. Um, and I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's a peachy color. It's a glass container. Um, and this guy is like $3.80, which I love that about it. Um, affordable makeup is always the best way to go. And it's got the little dropper. And honestly, it smells really, really good. I love the smell of it. I can't explain what exactly it is, but it smells delicious. The next primer that I have, um, I just got like two days ago, and um, I actually just tried it for the first time today, so we will see how this goes. Um, this is the Fresh Glow Luminous Face Primer from Too Faced. I got this from TJ Maxx, and I did not know that they have shades on them. So when I grabbed this and I opened it, I was like, holy crap, that's dark. Um, but this is in the shade Radiant Nude, and honestly... I put it on my skin and it doesn't like change the color of your skin it just puts a like a little tint on your skin which I believe that this is gonna be really really nice but we'll just have to see how it works and it has a little smell to it it's like a I'm trying to think oh it's a watermelon scent that's why there's a little watermelon on it <laughs> um, I kind of wish the packaging was a little bit nicer um, because like the wet and wild one is glass and then this one is freaking plastic and it costs a, a lot more. I mean, I paid like $10 for this, but in like real life, like in the real store, I think that this is like expensive. This next primer is also a new primer that I got, um, the other day as well because I went to TJ Maxx and then I went to Ulta. Um, but this is the Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine poreless blur primer um the goodbye pores i just tried this out today as well and um i don't like the texture of it i will say that it's got a velvet um feel to it which i guess that's why because i don't i'm not used to velvet feeling products on my skin um but um we will have to see how this works because i've never gotten a prime uh pore filling primer i've always just used like the hydrating ones um, but, um, I just wanted to get this because, I mean, my pores aren't huge, 
but I do like my makeup to look clean and smooth without those little bumps in here because my pores are like right here, but they're tiny. Like, I don't know if y'all can see them. Y'all can see them a little bit like right there. Um, so I didn't fill them in all the way, but I didn't put a lot either because I didn't know how much I needed to put on. But um, we will see how this goes as well. This next primer is from ColourPop, the pretty um, fresh collection. This is the Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer, and I love the color. It's a peachy color as well. It's got a nice scent to it. It kind of smells like it would be like a shampoo or a body wash, so I like it. But then it also kind of smells like, like a baby, baby powder. <gasps> That's what it is. I've been trying to figure out what this smells like, and haven't been able to figure it out but it smells like baby powder it really does y'all get this and y'all tell me if y'all think the same thing okay and then my last primer um this is the maybelline master prime this is the um hydrating one of course um this guy is amazing i've had him for a good two months and i kind of just picked him up because i was like i do need a new primer i'm kind of tired of touch and soul because i just use it every single day and i think my skin was getting used to it um, but this guy is so nice, so good to the skin. I love the packaging. Um, it's very simple, but I do like it, especially for the drugstore. This is pretty good. Um, and you get one fluid ounce of um, primer, which a lot of like high-end products don't come with one fluid ounce. So that's pretty dang amazing. And also to carry on with the primers, I totally forgot about this guy. This is the Luminous. Um, putty primer from elf and I've used I think I've used it. I think I have yeah I've dipped in it a little bit. Um, it's re it's really nice. It's got a yellowy tone to it I don't know why it's yellow, but it says the shade is a universal glow um, But um, I have ha I've only tried it once um, But I will let you guys know sooner or later how I like it. All right, so next we're moving into foundation Y'all can see I'm going crazy. <laughs> I went crazy with the foundation, but um, we're going to get through this quickly because I have so many. Um, but the first foundation I want to talk about is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is the dewy one. Um, they have an original, which I don't really care for the original just because it, it's really drying on my skin. Um, I really do like this. Um, again, the glass bottle. Um, I have it in the shade Rose Ivory, and it honestly suits my skin so good. Um, it When I take my makeup off, it, it's so smooth. It, it looks good. It, it just looks like it hydrated my skin throughout the day. I highly recommend this to anybody that has dry skin. This next foundation, I've tried one time, but not enough to actually know what it, like the consistency and the coverage it has. This is the Milani screen screen queen um, natural finish foundation so I'm guessing it's like a sheer foundation I have it in the shade nude ivory um, and it, it's cute packaging I always like I've, I've always loved Milani's packaging I think it's really really cute um, I want to try their other foundation it's a newer it's an older foundation but I've never tried it I don't know why I've just never gotten like a feel for it um, but I cannot wait to try this out in upcoming videos. Next up, we have a matte foundation. <laughs> this is the Morphe Fluidity um, Full Coverage Foundation. I have it in the shade F170. Um, and I've tried this, and it's really, really, really drying. So if you have really oily skin, this may work better for you. I'm honestly thinking about decluttering this just because I've only used it like once or twice. It kind of looks like I've used it a little bit more, but honestly, I've used it like once or twice. And it honestly does have a full coverage feel to it. Um, it works okay if I put like all those hydrating serums on my face and then I put this on. But honestly, I don't find this being a suit for me just because I'm so dry and this makes me even drier. Um, like when I took this off, it it literally made me look like a like I was peeling. Like that's how dried out it made me look. Um, but I do really think this is a really really good foundation for anybody with oily skin that wants full coverage. Y'all need to go pick this baby up. Next up, we have the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. 
Um, it has a pump to it. Um, all of the ones that I've shown you have pumps, except for the Wet n' Wild. It has like a stick, um, and then the Morphe is just a little squeezy tube. Um, but I have this guy in the shade F2. I still haven't taken the plastic all the way off, which is kind of annoying me. But I couldn't get it off, but I wanted to try it one day, so I think I just ripped it off, honestly. But this guy is so nice. Um, he's full coverage, but also very hydrating to the skin. I really enjoy wearing him. Um, I don't wear him very often just because I don't wear makeup a lot anyways. Um, because I work more than I am at home. Um, or that was the case. Um, but, like, I can't wear makeup to work. Um, not because I can't. I probably could if I wanted to. But I work with coffee and, um, like, like, sweeteners and all that and it just kind of gets everywhere so I don't want to like mess up my makeup you know since I spent time working on it. but it's in a glass bottle um, I really do like the formula it's really nice um, did I say I think I did um, but um, anybody with dry skin this is a really really good one and they do have an original as well that's more matte um, so if you have dry skin get the dewy one or get the hydrating one and if you have um, oily skin get the regular this next foundation isn't really a foundation it's more like a skin tint um this is the florence by mills um skin tint um i really love this foundation i have it in the shade f020 um and i love it it is a great no makeup makeup foundation it is so pretty on the skin it's really natural and glowy and it works really good for, I believe this would work good for any skin tone. Um, it says to blend it out with um, fingertips, but I use my sponge with everything. I never use my hands because I'm that kind of person that I don't like to feel the stuff on my hands. I don't know, I don't know, my, I'm very, like my hands are really dry, so um, I don't like to feel that crap on my hands. Um, but if y'all are looking for a skin tint, this is the way to go. Um, they have a shade below this. It's like F010. That one's more like a porcelain color where this one is um, more light to fair. And then the one above it, I would say is like light medium to medium to medium shade. Um, it's a very light coverage. I thought I heard it shaking. I don't know. I haven't worn, worn this foundation in a while, but um, I can't wait to show you guys in videos of what this baby looks like. Next, we have this foundation that literally I just tried today, so I don't know. I don't have any opinions on it yet, um, but it's the Too Faced Do You Full Coverage um, Fresh Glow Foundation in the shade Snow. I honestly don't see where it's full coverage because I have all these bumps on my skin, and it didn't cover any of it. So, um, But it is a really nice, lightweight foundation. I could tell that it's really, really really glowy to the skin like there's some glowiness right here and right here this is highlight so ignore that um and then like up here i don't have highlight right here or right here but it makes it really really luminous and nice and i i hope to have an opinion on it at least after two more tries <laughs> next we have something from nyx and now if you guys know me i'd never i've never really owned nyx, NYX products except for my little the little um, gloss that I have from them. Oh, I love it. But, um, this one is the Born to Glow, um, Naturally Radiant, um, foundation. Um, I have it in the shade Light Ivory. It's very full coverage and it's very, very, very hydrating. I love this foundation. Um, the packaging is, is cute. It's just a little squeezy tube. Um, but I love mixing this in with that Florence foundation. It looks so pretty on the skin it really does um and i think they have a regular one too as well so um y'all go try this bad boy out this next foundation is from juvia's place and this is the i am magic velvety matte foundation now when i got this i honestly thought it was going to be so drying and it's really not it's really not it's a very very nice foundation um, I've noticed when I take it off that my skin is glowy and all that. I feel like it's like hydrating. 
at the same time as it is matte on the outside. So it's like a satin finish. Um, I have it in the shade Malta, which is 640. And um, I, it's too dark for me. I will say that. Y'all see the little color right there? It's a little dark for me. So I'm going to have to go and get my actual shade. But um, I could honestly work it in with my neck and all that and I'd be fine. But it's just a little too dark for me. But I love this. It is so nice to the skin. I love the packaging. The peach, corally color is super, super pretty. Next up, we have an older foundation. This is probably the oldest one that I'm showing you guys. Um, this is the Rimmel. Um, the 25-hour lasting finish breathable foundation. I have in the shade Classic Ivory. I don't think I've shown you guys this yet. Um, if I have, let me know. And I'm sorry in advance. But, um... This guy is so nice. Um, he has, this is probably the only one that has this application on it besides the next one that I'm going to show y'all. Um, but I really do like this foundation a lot. Um, it's very lightweight, but also full coverage and it's a satin finish as well. Um, but um, I got this from Walmart for like $4. This next foundation I just got yesterday. Like not even lying. This is, I honestly don't even know why I picked this up. But I want to try new things. So this is the LA Girl Pro Coverage um, AC Finish Longwear Illuminating Foundation. Okay, I didn't even see that. So it's like a dewy foundation. It's got a pump on it, which is nice. Um, Y'all know I love the concealer of this brand. Um, so we're going to have to see how this bad boy goes. Okay, last but not least, we have the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation. Now, I love this foundation so much. It has the stick, the stick application applicator, which I don't mind, but like I'm very picky about my my applicators. I have it in the shade LN4. Um, this guy is also really um, brightening, and it has hydrating stuff in it, I guess, because. Again, I'll take off my makeup and I feel so good. Like, I don't feel like I have to, like, soak my face in cleanser and moisturizer. Even though you should. I don't feel like I have to. Um, this guy also has FPF 20. Um, this guy was a little bit pricey, but for the packaging and how pretty it looks, I don't mind it. It's actually really, really, really nice. Now, moving on to concealer. Okay, so I have really expanded <laughs> my... Um, concealers. So we're going to go ahead and get started. This first one I just got the other day and I put it on my skin today and I'm not really sure how I'm liking it. Um, but this is the Becca um, Ultimate Coverage Long Wear Anti... Oh, I might know Spanish. <laughs> or whatever language that is. I have it in the shade Chai. Um, which is a little dark, but honestly, I don't mind matching my concealer with my foundation and then going on top of it with a brighter one. Honestly, I see this being a really lightweight concealer so far. Um, the applicator on this is hard. Like, I will show y'all. You, can, you can't even bend it without it almost like looking like it's going to break. So, um, I will let y'all know how I feel about this. This next concealer um, goes to, goes with the Morphe um, foundation. This is the Morphe Fluidity um, Concealer. I have in this shade C145. And honestly, I love it. It's a rosy tone. If you guys can see, it's a little bit more pinky. But I am naturally like red. So it doesn't really bother me that much. I like the applicator on it. It's very movable unlike the Becca Becca one um, I do really 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 enjoy this and it, honestly it's not as drying as the foundation which is kind of crazy to me um, how they're so completely different but it also this has a shine to it when you first put it on this next concealer is by elf and you guys know I love the height the um the original this is the um, hydrating camo concealer with a satin finish having the shade fair warm the only thing that I don't like about this concealer is that the shade range between um, from the original to this one are completely different. It is not the same. They, the colors are completely different. But um, it has the white cap, which I love, um, and it has the big 
applicator on it like the original does. Um, but honestly, I love it. I love it. I love it. Next concealer is the Baby to the Makeup Revolution foundation. This is the Conceal and Hydrate um, Concealer from Makeup Revolution. I have in the shade C2. Um, it also has a really big spoolie on it. Um, honestly, I love this concealer. Like all of these, I love besides at least one of them. Um, it is really, really, really nice and dewy on the skin. This next one is a dupe. And I didn't realize it till I looked up a picture of it. <laughs> but this is the Born This Way um, Naturally Radiant Concealer. I don't, I don't know if this is the same one. I don't know because I know they have the thicker bottle, which I know they have the foundation in the thicker bottle, and then they have the concealer in the thicker bottle. Is this like the dewy one or something? I don't know because it says radiant, but I don't like the foundation. Does it say radiant on it at all? I don't know. But this is the spoolie or the applicator, and I don't love it, but it's a really, really nice concealer for like if you're going for a no makeup makeup day, like if I was to use the Florence foundation and this together, they work so beautifully together. This next concealer is the Baby to the NYX. This is the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer in the shade Fair. Um, it has the sponge applicator which I'm not a big fan of but um, it is really full coverage and it's really nice on the skin and I love it this next product is the last concealer and this is the baby to the rimmel this is the um, lasting finish 25 hour breathable um, light ivory concealer and honestly I love this so much it does have this have the sponge on it like the NYX does um, but um, it's really, really nice, and it's four bucks at freaking Walmart. So, I don't have any new bronzers, um, but I do have new contour stuff. So, let's get into the contour. Okay, so I have just two new contour um, products. Um, I haven't, I've been more focused in eyeshadow palettes. Like, y'all will see like, how much I have. Um, this first one is from Kat Von D. Rest in peace, Kat Von D. Uh, but this is her um, shade and light um, contour palette. Also has eye color, eye shade, uh, eyeshadows in it. And this is the inside. I absolutely love this shade right here. Um, and then I will set my under eyes with this shade right here. And then that's that color for like bronze, um, bronzer. Then I've used the bottom here for the eye, the eye um, shadow, and it's really nice as well. Um, I really do like this. I think I got this. From, I actually bought this on sale from Sephora, and I'm not honestly a big fan of Sephora, but if I see a good deal, I'm gonna get it. My last contour item. I just got this the other day, and I used it on my face today. Honestly, I'm loving it. Um, this is the Anastasia um, Contour Cream Kit. These are cream um, pigments. And honestly, I love the variety of colors in here. I used this shade today, and I mixed a little bit of this, too. Um, I feel like these up here are, like, color correctors or something. Like, this could be, like, a, a concealer, and then these are, like, peachy and um, more neon um, color correctors. But I love the packaging, and it's so cute. Okay, so next we're going into blush. Okay, so the first product that I'm going to be talking about is one that I have not tried yet because I just got it. Um, this is one of the Too Faced sides of the eyeshadow and face palette. This is the face palette side and it does have um, highlighters in it and a dark um, bronzer in it. So um, this is the inside and I have not touched this yet. Um, we've got a highlighter down here which is called Dress to Chill. We've got Melanaire, and then we've got Melon Dramatic, which this is like a darker highlight, I guess. And it smells so good in here. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what that smell is, but it smells pretty dang good. Okay, and the next we have the ColourPop um, blush. This is in the shade Between the Sheets. I got this in the Kelly Strack um, 
Um, it's like a mauve red color, and honestly, I'm in love with it. Um, I'm not a big blush person, um, but this color is actually really, really pretty. Like, it is kind of hard to get these cats on there because I'm trying to get the cap on. Next up, we have the um, blush that I have on my face today. This is the e.l.f. Um, Primer Infused Blush. I can't remember what shade this is. Oh, Always Cheeky. That's the shade. I got it in this tiny writing marker. But um, it is so pretty. And I love the packaging, of course. Um, Y'all know I love e.l.f. packaging. And it's very powdery, but it's a peachy blush. No, it doesn't smell like anything. It smells like the, the Poreless Primer, though. So, um, the Putty Primer. Um, I love this so much, and it's only like $4, so um, if y'all are interested, go try this out. Because having a primer-infused blush means that it's going to sink into your skin more and just last a lot longer. Last but not least for blush, I have this palette from here. This is the 4-in-1 Blush Book. Now, this is the inside, and I am absolutely, like, stunned by this. Like, like this was... I got this from TJ Maxx, I think, and this whole palette was like $10. So you've got like this reddish mauve color. Um, this is the shade Honest. Um, you've then got Passionate, which this is more like a pinky purpley um, shade. And then you've got Determined, which this is more of a shiny, peachy orange um, shade. And then you've got Loyal down here, which is the more pinkies and browns and um little like purpley tones as well but i think that this is so pretty and they're all like i think they're all metallics kind of some of them have glitters in it some of them don't yeah like this one down here is more shimmery but the rest of them are like matte and i think it's really cute and the packaging is super cute now we're moving on to powders okay so i have two new powders and one of them is not new, but it's a different um, kind. Um, this first one is the Ciate London um, Vacay, Everyday Vacay Powder. And I love this. It's a coconut powder, but the coconut isn't so strong that you can't breathe. Um, I don't like coconut smells, but this one is actually really, really nice. Um, it's a white um color powder um which is really good for baking um i honestly love this i got this in one of my boxy charms dang i've already dented it y'all see that i already dented it um but this is a really really nice one i don't believe that you have to spend so much money on a powder um but um y'all should go try this out and my last powder this is the cody airspun y'all know i love cody airspun this is the loose face powder now the one that I had before was the Naturally Neutral Powder, um, but this one is the um, Translucent Extra Coverage Powder. Um, and honestly, I love it. The Naturally Neutral is still in my drawer at my house. Um, I still use it sometimes. This one is just really good for setting the under eyes and down here. Where the other one, I believe, is more into baking. I don't have any new eyebrow products just because I still use my elf instant brow pencil i am in love with it next we're going to go into eyelid primers now a couple of months ago i was not into eyelid primers at all um but i wanted to purchase them just to see if it made a difference with my eye look and honestly I'm wearing the first one that I'm going to show, and it honestly picks up so good with pigment. Um, it's so nice. Um, this first one is from Morphe, and this is the eyelid primer in the shade Translucent. Um, it is a squeezy tube. They both are squeezy tubes, um, but it's more like a tan color. Um, I honestly love it very much. Um, a little goes a long way though this guy is like ten dollars at ulta which is a little up there um but i do really like this it says that it's 12 hour long wear and it's um waterproof and this next one is a mini version so don't think this is the full size this is the anastasia eyelid primer um this guy is 13 dollars at sephora 
Um, and it doesn't have a shade, does it? I don't think it has a shade, no. Because I think they're all the same color. Um, but it's a white base. Um, it's white. And um, I honestly prefer the Morphe over this one. I don't know. Um, but honestly... I am going to give y'all some advice right now. If y'all are not sure about eyelid primers, go buy the mini of this one because um, I wasn't sure either. So I went and I bought this just to see if it would work. And if it didn't work, it wasn't like I spent however much on the original one or the the um, bigger one. Um, but I honestly love it. Um, this putty primer that I just got yesterday. This is the e.l.f. Um, putty eye primer. Um, you guys know that they have the regular putty primer, but they made an eye primer. Um, this one is white. Um, I'm very excited to try this. Like y'all can see, I haven't even touched it yet. Um, but I'm very excited to see what this guy does. So I totally like just skipped a freaking step. Um, but we're going to go into highlighters now. All right. So for highlighters, um, I have two new ones. Um, I have the Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit, and this is the inside. Um, you've got six different shades in here. You've got Blue Ice, Star, Purple Horseshoe, Pink Heart, Lucky Clover, and Blue Moon. Sorry, I was like all the way down here. But those were the bottom three that I just said. Um, I have Star on today. Um, and kind of mix in this next highlighter with it. But I love this. And I got it for Christmas. So last but not least. We have the ColourPop um, highlighter. In the shade Flexitarian. I also got this with the Kelly Strat kit. And I've dipped in it a good bit. <laughs> I have this on top of the Star one. From the Anastasia palette. Okay, So next we're going into mascara. Alright, so the first mascara that I have that's new is the MAC Bold and Bad Lash. Um, it has two applicators. Um, kind of looks like a pen, doesn't it? It looks like a pen. That's what I like about it. Or like this is like the pencil side and this is like the eraser. I don't know. Um, but it has a small applicator and then it has a large applicator. So this one is the small one. This is the one to kind of get on those bottom lashes. Um... I think it's kind of cool, but I never use it. Um, and then we've got the bigger side, which is connected to the little side. And there's that. I honestly love the brush head. It gets in those lash hairs so nice. And it really gives your lashes some volume. Um, even though I kind of already have mascara on right now, it's just adding a little bit more volume to my lashes from what I already have and I honestly love it it's I got this from Mac, Mac from <laughs> TJ Maxx as well for Christmas um, I went and did like a little shopping fruit shopping spree for Christmas I don't know this next one is from Physicians Formula and this is the organic fresh mascara now I've seen Tati talk about this forever um, and I was like I need to go see what this mascara is all about so I bought it online, and it is so nice. Um, it looks like a little leaf, isn't it cute? And then you take it out, and it's a it's a wider brush head, which I don't mind. Um, the brushes, the little bristles on it are actually really really cute um, and tiny, and they just get in there. Like you can get up under that eye, that little lid, up in the waterline, and just roll it up. But the only, you can build this guy up too. You just got to make sure that you let it fully dry down before you add more onto it. Next one is from Essence. And I've used it once and I'm kind of liking it. Kind of not, not used to mascaras like this. This is the Essence um, Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. Um, and I love the cute little packaging. This is rubber right here. So it actually kind of feels good on your hands. The brush head is really nice, um, but it gives more like a natural look to your skin, to your lashes, not like boom, like like out there. Um, but so this would be a really nice mascara to wear if you're just wearing like a skin tint and some blush, and then put on some mascara and like some lip gloss. 
and do your eyebrows, this would be the mascara for that. And it's like $4 at freaking Ulta. And I was like, ooh. This but not least, my favorite mascara at the moment. This is the KKW. I know, I bought a freaking expensive mascara. Um, the KKW um, mascara in the shade Black. And this honestly reminds me a lot of the Too Faced um, Better Than Sex mascara. I love the brush head and it just gives your lashes so much color. Like, look at that. Like, honestly, people say that clumpy lashes aren't cute, but it makes your eyelashes stand out so much. And it curls your lashes. Like, like this mascara curls my lashes by itself and my eyelashes are really, really short anyways. So it kind of just makes my lashes stand out a little bit more than they already are. And the velvet tip, the velvet feel on this packaging is so cute. And it's got a new color. It's so cute. Next we're moving into eyeliner. So I'm not a big eyeliner person, but I got this eyeliner in the Kelly Strack um, kit. This is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade exit now this is what i have in my waterline today and it is a white liner i love it it is so cute and so creamy and nice and i honestly cannot go without this thing now to my favorite part eyeshadow palettes i'm gonna go ahead and apologize for how much we're about to talk right now Okay, so these first three are the smallest palettes that I've ever, ever bought in my life. So this first one is by e.l.f. They're all by e.l.f. These are the bite size eyeshadow palettes. And I have, this one is in the shade Hot Jalapeno. And I love the greens in here. Like this green is speaking my freaking name. Um, I love this little yellowy gold metallic as well. And these are so, so good so cool to travel with as well this next one i have in the shade um shade this is the berry bad palette and it's more of the nude nude um pinks um palette and this one is the only one that i've played with um this is the pumpkin pie palette um and i used it's so cool how you can use one palette for one eye look like there's only four shades in here but it all worked in one eye look. And so we got this this shade that's really, really cute. And then we've got this brown shade that's really nice. And then these two, I think I think my palette actually cracked. So I'm, I don't know when, but it looks like it kind of cracked. But I love these little tiny palettes. So these next three are about the same brand as well. I have a lot of this brand, so y'all will see a lot of it in this video. Um, but this first palette, um, is the nude mood palette from ColourPop um, and it is so cute these little nine pan palettes are like my favorite um, I love this palette and then the next palette is by the same collection and um, this is the blush crush palette um, and um, this is the inside of it I have not played with this very much I think I've tapped into this shade and this shade a little bit but I haven't like played with it to know exactly how how it looks and then last but not least for these three we've got the going coconuts palette this is the cutest palette i actually use this on my eyes today um this is the inside um i've only tapped into this maybe three times these next two i kind of skipped <laughs> i'm going so out of order right now but these two are so cute um one of them i've used one of them i have not used um, this first one is by Smashbox. This is my first Smashbox product ever, so I'm kind of excited. Um, this is the Pinks and Palms eyeshadow palette. Now, this is a really, really good guy to, to travel with. I haven't touched him. I've had him for like two months, and I have not touched him. And then we have the Nubian by Juvia's. This came as a free little gift with one of the other palettes that I got from them. Um, and this is the inside. It's so, so cute. All the nude colors and little shimmers. I honestly love it, love it, love it. So these next three palettes um, are tiny as well. So these are really, really good for traveling as well. Um, this first one is the Frozen 2 Anna 
um, ColourPop palette, and honestly, I love this palette so much. She was my favorite character in that movie, in the, in the um, Frozen movies. Now, we've got this little color story. It's so, so cute, and so, like, has nude colors in it. Next one is the Juvia's Place one that I actually bought. This is the Berries by Juvia's Place, um, and, oh, the palette is so pretty. It's so freaking pretty. Um, I haven't really dipped into it except for this red right here. Then this next one I've had for a little while. I bought, a, I bought it a little bit before Christmas. This is the Pure Be Your Selfie eyeshadow palette. And this guy is so cute. I haven't used him in a while. But I honestly love him and it smells like chocolate in here. Okay, so these next three and the last one I'm so excited about. Um, these first two are by Morphe. Now this one is the 9G, the Oh My Gorge palette. Um, this is the inside. I love this. I got um, mostly all of them for Christmas. The next Morphe palette that we have, um, I've got the Just a Crush um, 9J palette. Now this is the pinky one. I was just kidding. I guess I grabbed it. Um, this is um, Super cute. They don't have shade names though. And then this next one, oh my god. I was so happy when I found this freaking palette in TJ Maxx. Oh my god. This is the Becca um, Pearl Glow Shimmering Eyeshadow Palette. Oh my god. So excited. Oh my god. Look at that. I swatched this one. That's why it looks like that. But oh my god. Look at this freaking thing. Oh, look at that shade right there. That is so freaking pretty. I would swatch it, but I hate the feeling of that shit on my hands. Um, but we're going to go ahead and say the shade names. I'm going to try. So we've got Warm Sands. Um, I can't say this one. It's like Ride, ride Scent. Ara, Ara, Ara? I don't know. Um, Fresh Water. We've got Lilac Pearl. Why is it like that though? Hold on a minute. I guess, I don't know. I don't freaking know. Um, and then we've got Titanium, Oyster, Sunlight, and Pink Pearl. Wait, I think I'm going the wrong way. I don't know, but no mind. We're, gonna, we're not going to say the shade names, but oh my god, look up. So these next three are not the same palette, <laughs> not by the same brand. This first one is from Jeffree Star. This was my first Jeffree Star purchase, and I got it, and I bought it from the Morphe store online. Um, this is the mini Jawbreaker palette, and um, the packaging is so cute. Everything is like, it's not flat. It's got like texture to it. Um, but this is the inside, and oh my god, I freaking love this palette. Next up, we have a ColourPop palette, and this is probably my second favorite right now. Um, this is the California Love, and I'm really late, I'm sorry. Um, this is the inside. Oh, I wish some of these palettes had mirrors in it. Like, I know the, the, the Coconuts does. And then we've got the Maybelline Soda Pop um, eyeshadow palette. I got this for like $5 at Walmart when it was on sale. And this is the inside. It's super, super pretty. And it smells like cherries. Adding on to one of my smaller palettes. This is the Sweet Talk um, eyeshadow palette from ColourPop. Um, you open it up and you've got these shades in here. So these next three. We've got the Too Faced. This is the other half of the face palette that I showed earlier. This is the actual eyeshadow side. Now this is the inside. Isn't that so pretty? Next we've got the Makeup Revolution. This is the, which one is this? This is the Re Reloaded um, Neutrals palette. Now I can't open this. Oh wait, can I? No, because I have nails on. I think I, I tried opening it, but I could not open it. But I just got this like two days ago. Look at all the shades in there. Like y'all know I have the more warm toned palette. Um, and I got this thing for freaking four dollars, like, and I cannot wait to, like, try this freaking thing out. It's so pretty. This is the J.I., so the So Iconic one. This is the inside. This is the one with the neutrals that has the blue shade in it. I don't know why they decided to put, like, 
those little sparks of color in there. I don't know, but it's kind of cute. So now we're going by twos because the palettes are getting kind of bigger. Okay, so this first palette is by Anastasia. Um, it's been a while since I've gotten an Anastasia palette, but I also got this from TJ Maxx. <laughs> this is the Alyssa Edwards um, and Anastasia Com Com collaboration. That's what it is. <laughs> this is the inside it's very colorful and um i've only used it about once or twice and next when this released i went to freaking ulta the next day to see if they had it and they said no <laughs> so i went home and, and bought it online instead so this is the morphe and um manny was that just and the manny mua glam palette now this has two highlight highlighters in it i don't really use the highlighters in here because i don't know i just don't but this is the inside Look how freaking pretty. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, so the palettes are getting bigger after after that part. Um, so we've got the ColourPop Truly Madly and Deeply Eyeshadow Palette. Now this one is a favorite of mine. Um, I absolutely love this palette so much. Um, they've got like like loose glitter in here and they are literally glitter. Like like they, they stay on your face. Even when you wash it off. And this one, I hope y'all don't think that I'm a freaking stoner or something. But um, this is the Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette. This is the Chilled with Cabanas um, Sadiva. Sadiva. Um, but this is the inside. I honestly just bought this because I loved the colors. Um, but honestly, like, like I am using a CBD oil um, for my anxiety to help with it and it really does chill me out some when I don't take it I feel like I'm on freaking fire um but um and it really does like with like products that contain CBD it really does calm the skin it doesn't irritate it um but this is the inside and I've played with it a couple times and I wasn't impressed like like really impressed okay and these next two one of them I've tried, one of them I've never freaking touched. Um, so this one is also a Makeup Revolution palette. Um, this is the Forever Flawless Unconditional Love Eyeshadow Palette. Um, and this guy is so freaking pretty. Like, I love this palette. And this one is also a um, Cabanas Cannabis <laughs> palette. Um... So this one is the Pacifica Hemp Infused Eyeshadows. Now, this is the inside. Oh, I forgot it came with a brush. I forgot. It comes with a brush. I totally forgot about it. Um, but this is the inside of the palette, and it is so cute and just like the colors are just spontaneous. Okay, so now we're moving on to the bigger palettes. I have three big palettes, and then we're done with eyeshadow palettes. Okay, so first of our bigger palettes, um, I have the Morphe X Jeffree Star um, eyeshadow palette. Now, I am in love with this palette. Um, this guy is $35 retail, but I got it for like $21, which wasn't bad. Um, but I love this palette, and the colors in it are fantastic. I to do this to Jeffree, but I forgot to bring up a palette. <laughs> Um, that I talked about earlier that that I used for contour, um, the Kat Von D one, the Shade and Light palette. I'm going to talk about the bottom ones. Now, the bottom ones are really, really nice. I really do like the shades in here. They are really, really good and pigmented. Um, Jeffrey and Kat Von D used to have a, have a friendship, and they do not anymore. That's why I said I feel bad for doing this to Jeffrey. I cannot say the shade names, so we're just going to take a little look at it. This um, red in here is super pigmented and really nice. I like this color and I also like these two on the end. Okay, so next we have a Morphe palette. This is the um, Artistry palette. This is the Pride palette. Um, and I got this for like $20, which is really good. I really love this palette. Like I, I'm all about supporting um, people that like the same gender or you know whatever I I like supporting it but also I love the palette as well um because like my best friend he's gay he he likes guys but um he's he's such a good person like 
Like, you can't judge somebody just because they like it, the same gender on how they're going to be. Like, like, I could never. I could never do that to somebody. Last but not least, our last palette. Um, I've got the Iconic London. This is the Day to Slay eyeshadow palette. I got this in my BoxyCharm last month. Um, and I still haven't even taken the plastic off. Like, I haven't even touched it. Um, it's super, super pretty, and it's got every single shade that you need in here. Um, it's basically nudes and reds with some glitters and stuff. Okay, so now we're moving on to lipsticks and lip liners and lip glosses and all that. I'm just going to kind of combine it into one little picture. Alright, so the, f the only lip liner that I've ever tried I really like, and this is from KKW Beauty. Um, this is in the shade um, zero, Nude Point Five. Now I saw um, what's her name, Paige Corin talk about this lip liner, and I was like, okay, might want to try this. Um, I honestly don't know if I'm supposed to sharpen this or not. Okay, and then I have four lipsticks. They all go together. Um, first, we've got these little Anastasia lipsticks. I have four of them. Um, I've got it in the shade Coconut Matte Lipstick, or Coconut, this is a matte lipstick, they're, they've got a combination of matte and shimmer lipsticks in here, but this one I actually have on my lips today, it's more of a nudie color. Next we have the Guava Matte Lipstick, I think this is the red one, no, this is the orange one. See, it's got like little, like little, um, iridescent glitters in it, it's like an orangey shade. Um, I definitely don't use this one a lot, but it goes with the lipstick that I'm about to show you. Okay, and this is the one that it goes with. This is the Blossom Matte Lipstick. Um, it does have glitter in it as well, but if you guys can see, it's a little bit darker than that orange shade that I just pulled out. Um, definitely like that. And the last Anastasia lipstick, we have Lynche and the the matte lipstick. This one has a lot of glitter in it. Y'all can see that in there. Um, but it's more of like a red, which I don't really wear red that much, but I feel like it could be cute, maybe. And then like these are all minis. Like these aren't like regular size lipsticks. They came from TJ Maxx in like little kits. Next, we're gonna go into liquid lipsticks. Now I have three. This first one I'm gonna say because I haven't tried it yet. This is the Too Faced um, Melted Matte um, Liquid Lipstick, Liquid Matte Lipstick, and I have it in this shade Gingerbread Man. This is from the Gingerbread Collection, and it's definitely a little red, which I'm kind of scared, but I have not tried it yet, so kind of eager to try it. And then next I have one from ColourPop. This is the Ultra Bolted Lip. Um, in the shade Starling. It's definitely a nude shade. I'll put it on for you guys. It's like the same tone as the Anastasia. And it dries down quick, but it's not like ultra, like, drying to the lips. Last but not least, for the, um, color, for the matte lipsticks, Matte liquid lipsticks. We have another ultra bolted lip. This is in the shade um, Cynic Root. Now this is also another one I got in the um, Kelly Strack um, collection. But this is a super cute one and it goes good with that lip liner that I was telling y'all about. Last but not least, we are going to be talking about these two lip glosses that I love. You guys know I love lip gloss. Um, this first one is the e.l.f. Lip Lacquer in the shade Fantasy. Um, it's a bronzy um, type of lip lip gloss. I love it so much. It adds so much like dense to your lips, like makes you look like you're not so dry down. <laughs> and then the last one that I want to talk about, you can't really see it, but this is the Jewel Smith um, lip gloss, and I don't know what shade this is in. Shireen Queen. Um, it's a pinky gloss and I absolutely 
Love it. Super, super pretty. Okay, and then we are at our last little bit of product, and it is going to be on setting sprays. Okay, so the first product, or the first two, are from Urban Decay, and I got the minis because, you know, I wanted to try it out to make sure that I liked it first before I went and spent so much money on these. But this is the Urban Decay Quick Fix. This is the hydrating um, one, I think. I don't know. I heard that this one was the hydrating one, though. But um, I really do like this one. Um, it's really nice to the skin, and it sinks into your skin as soon as you spray it. Next, this one, this was the reason why I got the mini, because I don't really care for it. Um, but I did spray this on my face today, because I could not find this one at first. Um, this, one, this one is the All Nighter Honey one, so this goes with their Honey Eyeshadow Palette. Um, and um, this one's matte. Like, I feel it, like, just drying down on my skin. But um, I don't mind it, just the smell is kind of intense. And then last but not least, my favorite one right now is the Mario Matisque, um Skincare Facial Spray. It has the aloe herbs and rose water in it. And I absolutely love it. I love the smell of it. I love the finish. I love how it makes my skin feel. It is super, super nice. Alright guys, so that is the end of this video. It was really lengthy. But I tried to make it as short as I could. Um, I hope you guys are excited about all these products that I have. Um, I definitely left older products at my house. Um, and uh, I'll have to show you guys my freaking um, drawer right my freaking makeup organizer because I'm going to have to buy a new one because all of this fills it up. But um, make sure you guys go and like this video. And if you aren't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video.